The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and our are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was praying over this passage during the course of the week, I was led to recall the time in my life when I ran away from home. I did that, yeah. It was late autumn, and I took off after supper. And I got about a half a mile away from home and uh, stood in my anger. I don't even remember what it was all about, but there was something between me and my parents going on. At 11 years old, it's highly likely. And so after being about a half a mile away from home and stewing in my anger and feeling really cold and confronted with the reality that I literally had no place to go. Um, I realized that I wasn't equipped to be there on my own. And I was forced to answer a question I ask people a lot of times in the confessional. How's that working for you? In truth, God created us in his image and his likeness we're his dear children. He made us to share life with him as it is proper for a family. Sharing with him and having life with him, not in competition with him, but cooperating and learning from one another and learning from him. Adam and Eve enjoyed the fruit of that relationship before the fall. They had no sickness. There was no death. They had harmony with all of creation. They were truly enjoying an abundant life. They were experiencing rich blessings from their loving Father. They were living an image of what Jesus brings us today in the gospel. They were yoked to God as God intended it to be, to be yoked with him in life. In Jesus' time, a yoke was a harness that put two beasts of burden together, two oxen, for example, it put them together 
and it allowed the operator to guide the oxen and it allowed them to work together with ease. It allowed them to function as almost one, to help each other out as partners in the task. And so Jesus says, my yoke is easy. His desire is to be partnered with us and bring us into this relationship with the Father that he talks about. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son. God's desire is not to enslave us with the yoke, but his desire is to walk with us, carry the burden with us, and work in a common direction, to walk with us and empower us. And those who want to win his heart and experience his abundant life to those who are willing to put on his yoke, it is easy and light. Our dependence on him like a father is an openness to his teaching and his guidance. I was thinking about how a child might learn to ride a bicycle. The parent delights in teaching this to their children. It gives the children a certain sense of empowerment. They do something that they can be proud of, and yet the parent is there to guide them. And while, they're, while the whole task is to get them to ride freely, the parent is there at the beginning, literally kind of yoked with them on training wheels. But the parent's delight is to get them to ride independently so they can travel freely and yet be able to travel freely enough to come home when they need. Jesus says, you have revealed to the little ones. What did you reveal? The Father does not remove the burdens of life. Rather, he wears the burdens of life with us and travels with us and helps us to carry them. He carries the burdens of life with us and helps us navigate through these things. He teaches us a sense of independence while always knowing where to go to find strength. This is what the Father does to us. However, Jesus says, this is hidden from the wise and the learned. The wise believe they are smarter than God, perhaps not necessarily consciously, but they believe that their independence must be separation from God in order to be truly dependent. And yet, instead, they're bound to their own ignorance and the limitations of their own skills and thinking. They believe they can carry the full load of life independent from the Father. These wise and learned, they're breaking their father's heart because daddy just wants his children to come to him so he can be their support, their help, and their love, especially in time of need. The little ones know the truth, so they turn to their Heavenly Father in prayer. The little ones know the truth, so they turn to their Heavenly Father in forgiveness, and in the process of forgiveness, learn the depths of His unconditional love. The little ones return home to the Father when they've been away too long. The little ones come home for Sunday dinner. Life without the love of the Father is burdensome. It's lonely. When I visit people in the hospital who are dying, I'm amazed at the difference between somebody who's dying and has a relationship with God as opposed 
to someone who doesn't. The person without a relationship with God is frightened, sees only an end, while those who have a relationship with God, although a little frightened, are hopeful and even enter into a suffering with joy. Jesus reminds us, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He wants to share the burden with you. And he says, come to me. He says this to you today. Come to me and I will give you rest.